the PQY28. This is a fascinating earbud for one particular feature, uh, but build quality. The case is metal. It feels quite nice. They put Hobby Talk there. That's cool. Um, yeah, very nice feeling case. Uh, USB-C It is a bit chonky, but it's forgivable because it's not just holding the earbuds. It's also holding spare batteries. That is so cool to me anyways. So these earbuds, I mean, they're kind of just like standard looking earbuds themselves, except the batteries detach and like there's a spare charged set. So like there's a charger here and these chargers. So you always have a charge set of batteries that like if your ear, like if your pods die, you just swap the battery and you're good to go. Like you have a fresh battery in your earbud. That is such a cool feature. So yeah, very neat. Um, when you're putting these in your ears, you got to make sure you're holding them by the bud themselves. Cause if you're holding it by the battery, they will just kind of plop off. Yeah. So there is that, but very cool, very interesting design. The fact that you get like spare batteries that just kind of like snap on and off of the earbud. One, this reduces e-waste because when the batteries are dead, the bud is still good. You can just swap the batteries. You can just buy new batteries. Um, two, yeah, like you can listen to these all day. When the batteries die, you swap the batteries, put the dead batteries on the charger. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I can't believe no one else has done this. Like, just amazing. <laughs> that is such a cool feature. Anyways, um, yeah, the build is good. It's just a little bit chunky of a case. And uh, yeah, the when you're putting them in your ears, you got to make sure you're holding them to put them in. Touch controls, stuff like that. They're solid. They're pretty dang solid. Anyways, how do these things sound? So the bass is enjoyable for me. Um, it might be a little bit muddy for some, but I like the lush kind of bass. I like a thick bass and thick lower mids. This to me sounds awesome in the bass region. Uh, I quite like the, <laughs> I kind of like the lower mid rise too, or, or the upper mid rise. Sorry. Um, it's good. It's not too much. Uh, the only problem I have with this I am is that the mid treble is a bit too much for me, uh, just in the balance of things, but I kind of get what it's going for. It's going for that warm, bright thing where it has a lot of bass and it has a little bit of that treble sparkle to kind of balance it out. Uh, if they smoothed out the treble, like they smoothed out that mid treble a bit, I would listen to these a heck of a lot more. Uh, I, I find the bass enjoyable. I like the bass profile. It's a lot of bass. I like that it doesn't have a ton of shout and upper mids. I like that. Um, yeah, it's just that mid treble. It's, it's a little bit too much for me. Um, but overall it's, it's a fun listen. It's different. It's enjoyable. I don't hate it. Uh, I don't mind it. Sounded pretty okay. It's quite good for EDM, techno, hip hop, rock, uh, not, not a uh, rock too, actually, but it, it, a lot of, um, like rap and stuff that has like electronic background in the music this does quite well with um i will say you can hear the electronics so once in a while you hear the beep, 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 it's I, I don't know it's like a little fax machine in your ear almost um don't really hear it dur during the music but if your music's on pause you do hear it so there is that but they sound pretty interesting they sound okay i don't i don't hate them um i just wish that yeah maybe the treble is a little smoother that's all just such a cool design. Very cool design. Um, the reduction of e-waste alone just by doing this. I, I think that's very cool and they're onto something. And if they just smooth out the treble a little bit. And I mean, to me, I found the bass enjoyable. I think the majority of people might like a slightly more polite bass. But I don't know. Whatever. I personally thought these were quite nice in the bass region. And um, the only thing I didn't like was the mid treble. So overall, I think these are cool. I think that they are worth supporting because it is a unique, different concept. Um, it's just the fact that, yeah, that mid treble spike could be something. And uh, you can hear the electronics at times. Uh, for under... Uh, it's, 
the thing is, like, it's a really nice case. It's a really nice feature having those batteries and everything. Um, for under 100 bucks, I think these are worth a try. So if you can get them on sale, stuff like that, they might be worth a shot just to kind of have that, that, that. This is cool to me. But um, they don't sound like they are like $200 or $300 true wireless. They sound like they are kind of budget. Um, so it's just one of those things where the sound is enjoyable. It's just like the fact that I can hear the electronics. That's the only reason I'm saying that it sounds budget. Like it sounds like a $40 true wireless to me because of that. Like other than that, it's nice. It's enjoyable. I like it. I like the features, but I've heard $40 true wireless that have that same electronic kind of sound when it's on pause and stuff and that's the only reason i say that um but otherwise yeah i think these are pretty cool yeah if you have any questions leave them for me in the comments down below like comment subscribe and until next time